Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician and today um, we're kind of in the home stretch here. Um, I'm going to see how long this video is. It may or may not be two parts because we got to get all the accessories on here. We got to get the AC compressor um, or not right here. The AC compressor is over there right down there. Um, air pump goes right about here and then we got to get the alternator right about here. Uh, we got to get all those on. We got to get all the pulleys on right here, here, and then over there. We got to get the belt on and the tensioner on. So we still have quite a bit to do. Um, so it may be two parts. Might not be. I don't know. Might be a long, a long single video or a shorter two parts. We'll see. Okay, here's the passenger side. Now what you want to know is the knock sensor harness has two sides to it. It has a short side you can see the wire right there and then the knock sensor right here then it has a long side which is super, pretty long and the short side goes on the driver's side the long side goes on the passenger side now you can see these right here have a bit of tape around it the harness had a little bit or the insulation had a little bit of uh, melting going on so but the wiring looked good it wasn't corroded or anything like that so i just put a dab of rtv on there then wrapped it with electric uh, with the uh, harness tape so that should be good so we're going to mount our uh, long side to the passenger side and then we are going to uh, torque that down to 20 newton meters uh, which is about 14.7 foot pounds just like that so Next, you'll put on the motor mount arm, which is torqued down to 25 foot-pounds, um, or 25 newton meters, which is about 18 and some change uh, foot-pounds. But these ones right here, um, for some reason, I just realized this, they have helicoil inserts in here. I'm not sure why they have helicoil inserts in here. Uh, I'm not sure if the, um, uh, if the threads are boogered up in here or not, but these have the helicoil inserts which um, have uh, some bolts in there that are too long. You can see these bolts right here, these factory bolts from the engine that I removed, they won't even go in. They're just right there. So um, all six of these bolt holes have helicoils. I don't know why, because only four of them are used for the motor mount arm, depending on which one. The, uh, this one, uh, the, the motor mount arm that I removed from the old in, from this engine uses these ones. The motor mount arm that I removed uh, from the 400E engine uses the wide pattern bolt holes. But all six of these have helicoils. So I'm going to need to remove those helicoils. I'll do that later. I'll have to remove, bring an easy out from work and then do that. And then the harness gets routed underneath the engine. Now some engines may require the routing towards the front, but this one goes underneath. Okay, and the harness is just going to get routed up like that because this is going to get plugged in by that connector that's on the driver's side fender. Next, we are going to install this bracket for the secondary air injection pump. Which goes right there. You have two bolts and then a long bolt. Okay, we're gonna do this the mechanically easy way. Uh, before you put on your oil filter housing, it is gonna be a lot easier to put on the air pump. So, uh, or the other way around, if you're gonna take off the air pump, it's a lot easier if you take off the oil filter housing because of these two bolts right here. Uh, now, if you have some very low profile, um, um, sockets for these you could probably get that out because the oil filter housing does stick out um, between these bolts about probably about that far right there so um but for for you guys if you're just gonna if you're gonna take off this air pump it's probably a lot easier and if you have to take this off if you take off the oil filter housing because then those bolts are going to be right there next you're going to snug these down Thank you. 
Next, you're going to need this part number right here, 119-142-0280. This gasket right here for this right here, the air injection pump to the side of the block. Now we can put our oil filter housing on. And you're going to tighten these down to 25 newton meters also. Next, install the oil filter. Next, you're going to want to install these two seals on the cap of the oil filter. The thin one goes right in this groove right here, goes just like that. Then the thick one is going to go in this groove right there. Just like that. And this is going to go right in the middle. Right like that. And that's going to get tightened down to 25 Newton meters. Okay, next we're going to install the alternator. Now, if you remember when I took the engine out, I had to take out this lower bracket or the the lower bolt right here for the alternator because it had a bracket that stuck out quite a bit so when i get this back in when i get the engine back in i'll put that bolt back in just to make extra clearance for when installing the engine in the vehicle now the work instructions don't specify a torque for this i mean if if, if they do i'm gonna have to dig pretty far to try to find it but uh, just snug that down tight. Too tight is stripped. Next, we're going to install the front crank sensor. That just goes on with a little 8 millimeter nut. The harness just gets tucked back there. And next, we are going to install the AC compressor. Right here, it's gonna take one, two, three, four bolts and a nut. They all get tightened down to 23 Newton meters or 16.9 foot pounds. Okay, in the next video, I am going to have to um, put this on there because there is a little pointer that goes on before the bolt on this, and that pointer I did have to order. It is coming from Germany, so uh, who knows how long it'll actually take to show up. I also ordered a radiator from Germany a couple weeks ago. It hasn't showed up. Um, if you guys are wondering why there's no stock of radiators for this car in Germany, I think last time I checked, Germany had 91. The U.S. had two, but I ordered both of them, and they both came damaged in the box. So I sent them back, and now I'm waiting on one from Germany. So what we're going to do now is install all of these pulleys.
All righty, here we go. Got all the pulleys on. Don't have the tensioner on. I'll probably end up doing a video on just the tensioner and the belt routing. Uh, so it should be a short video on that one. And then once I'm able to clear space, then we can do the, uh, the rear main. Take the plate off, take the seal off, put a new seal on, and do the silicone routing for the new plate. Um, so, because I'm going to do that before I put it back in the car, because might as well, uh, since it's already out, be a lot easier. So, uh, do that, but uh, shouldn't be too much longer before I can get to installing this. So, um, that's it for this video. See you next video. Make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the notification icon uh, so you can get notifications.